Okay, I'm back with the video. This is just a de description of how I did this. This is a, it's going to, it's starting to turn into, going to be a Cinderella, Cinderella bed um, for like a photo prop for taking, there's my cat, Sparkle. Hi, Sparkle. Um, for taking pictures of babies. Um, I still have some work to do on it. I need to like straighten this up and I need to tighten these bolts up, but I'm going to show you what I did. I cut pieces of the hula hoop off to get it to where I needed right here. So I took the whole hula hoop. It was um, round. It was round, uh, like all the way around. And I put it right here and measured it. And then, um, sparkle, watch out, baby. And then I, um, cut it, I cut it to where I wanted it. And then, um, I drilled two holes, but these bolts are too, um, too big for me to, um, be able to put the heads of them. If, if you see it are too big for me to be able to put two. So I'm only able to put one, but I'll just tighten them up and it'll be okay. So, I put one going across the, um, the middle, like that, across the middle, and then I took this one from here, this one from this side, over to the reverse side, over to this side. So, it's right here. I took it from this side over to this side. And then I took this one from this side over to this side. And it's, it's a little difficult to get them on there. It's not real hard. But it's, I mean, it's a little bit of work. And then you just um, tighten them up. I still have to tighten the, um, just tighten everything down. And then I might try to put the bolts on like one going this way inside because I'm going to put I'm going to make a cushion to put in here so it doesn't scratch up my babies or hurt a baby and I'm going to ask my husband if there's any way that he can cut these down because I don't like them sticking out like that you can always get shorter ones but I didn't know how long I needed it so I went ahead and got the longer ones but I may go back to Walmart and get the shorter ones so but that's how I did that but um, to get the hole into this, I took the uh, Phillips um, screwdriver and just turned it and turned it and turned it until I got a hole made into it. This is all Dollar Tree stuff. These are, I bought four, um, I bought three hula hoops from the Dollar Tree. I got the bigger ones. You can get the smaller ones if you want it, <clears throat> if you don't want it to be that big. And then I'm going to drill a hole. I have to measure everything. And I'm going to drill a hole through here and put a bolt in so it stays exactly, I mean, stays in place and exactly how I want it all the time. And then I'm going to spray paint all this white. I'm going to buy uh, another basket and put it up under here so it's setting up. And then my husband's making wheels for the um, for this so that it will look like the little Cinderella carriage. And then I'm going to buy some decorations from Dollar Tree. Um, I've seen some really cute stuff, and I've seen um, people decorate with other videos, but um, I know you can buy wire, um, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I was thinking about putting wire wire with, like, gems across it, but I'm not exactly sure yet. So, um, I will, I mean, you can deco how, decorate it however you want it, and then the pieces that were left from this, I was thinking about making a top up here to hold like a curtain and then it'll sit on to hold like um, fabric to look like a little curtain. And it, it might, I mean, it should, it'll wrap around this. It's like in a triangle. I put it, I left it in the other room. But I just crisscross it like that. And then you just drill the hole in there and then you screw the bolt in there and it'll squish it down and hold it in place. But this will be really cute once it's spray painted. But, and then um, when I have the other basket on here, I'm thinking about using E6000 
to put um, to glue them together because I've heard that that one works better. You can use super glue. I don't suggest hot glue because hot glue it holds for a little while, but it's not that great. Um, it's good for like paper stuff and stuff like that, and it holds really good. But stuff like this that you want durable, you're going to use the E6000 or um, um, super glue. So this is just an idea to give um, give you to make your own, and then you can take it from here and decorate how you want it. Um, I will post pictures. Um, I mean, well, I'll post a video of it after I decorate it so that you can get an um, idea. I still have to do the video for um, the logs that I'm making for the photo props. I just haven't gotten around to it. I've been watching my grandbaby, and he keeps me busy. Uh, I did this. I, I put this together. I cut the pieces off one night, and then the next morning... I was able to put piece it together and I'm still not finished with it. So, I mean, I've been really busy, especially taking care of a little, little one. He's one, he'll be two next month. So I'm really excited for his birthday. So I hope this gives you inspiration and you can see the bolt sticking out. I don't want to stick them in the inside because like I said, it can scratch the babies, but I'm thinking about going and getting shorter ones for this this part right here and then use the long one for that because you're definitely going to need the long one for that for the top definitely no doubt about it <clears throat> but this one i think i can use the shorter ones and then it probably i mean it won't be sticking out so much so i won't have to worry about cutting it so i'm definitely going to go see about getting the small um the shorter ones it's going to be a pain trying to get it back together but it'll be worth it because this is going to be my photo prop for my babies I don't know. I mean, if you want to leave the hula hoop in one piece, you can put um and put the two baskets together and then attach the hula hoop because it'll just it'll just uh it'll just come down here like that over the other basket, which I should have done that. I wasn't thinking. I'm you know this is my first time ever making this and it's trial and error, and I'll eventually make another one. But right now I'm not worried about it. But, um, so I think it would look better with the, the, well, I don't know. I'll, I'll take that back because then it would have to go from side to side instead of from corner to the other corner on the other side. So you have to, yeah, I guess you would have to cut it. So I'm going to have to figure out how to decorate this to make it look where it's not so bulky because it looks bulky right here. But I guess maybe when I put um, the cushion in there and put like uh, fabric over it to um, kind of hide this, I guess I can hide that. Or I can put, I can even put lace around here. That's something I can do, put lace around it to hide it. That would be really pretty. And then I have silver fabric because I'm going to paint this all white. And then I have like this sequence, sil silver sequence fabric. And um, I'm thinking about maybe hot gluing it around here. Thank God I kept it and saved it for a project. I was gonna try to make a shirt out of it because I have two different kinds. So I could probably use one on here, but I'm not sure. I'm not gonna sure I'm not sure if I'm gonna put a ruffle on this or what I'm gonna do. But I will definitely be back with another video on uh, the finished product um, showing you how I decorated it. But I would love to see ideas that you have, I mean, how you decorate yours if you decide to make something like this. And I wanted to see about putting like a door on it, but I don't know how I would go about doing that. So if anybody has any ideas on how to make a door on this, you know, like the Cinderella, I was thinking about putting it, um, this one going across from this way and leaving this part open and like door, but then it looked weird. So it was just too much. It would have been too much together. I like it better like this, or well, this is in the middle. I still need to adjust everything. But once I get that um, bolt in there and get everything bolted down, it'll set right. But I have to, uh, first I have to measure it. I have to measure it across to make sure I get the center because I want everything centered. I'm a perfectionist and it irritates me if it's not perfect.
excuse me, I'm sitting here on the floor, on the, on the living room floor. <clears throat> but um, this is just to show you how I did this. It's an idea to make a Cinderella carriage for a photo prop. It's a cheap DIY. Um, instead of paying the, the, you know, the, the high prices, and you can use different baskets. If you want to use a different basket, that's fine. Um, maybe a taller one. I didn't see a taller one. Had I seen another one, a different kind, um, my Dollar Tree, unfortunately, doesn't have all the stuff like some of the other cities and states do. But in here in my city, we don't have very much. We don't have all the stuff like they used to have this little um, square silver plates. I can't find those anywhere. The, the, the silver mirrored plates, like the party plates. We don't have that here. And then there's like the, um, they had like the, what is it called? The milk crates or something like that. We don't have those here either. And other, other cities and states have those. For some reason, we don't have them here. So we just have a limited of stuff, which irritates me. Um, cause I really wanted to make the, um, storage thing that, um, people are making the, the milk crates with. And I really wanted to do that, but I can't find those here in my city. So if any of you, um, that watch this know of any Dollar Trees that have those or how I can order the milk crate things off of um, Dollar Tree or anything because I looked on the website and I can't find them. I cannot find them. I can't find the silver plates either. The mirrored plates because I wanted to make like a, a wall decor for my living room. Couldn't find it. I can't find those silver plates and um, I can't find those milk cartons either. And I wanted to show you um, something I did um, for my living room. I have a lot of stuff over here. I'm saving these. My I drink almond milk. I don't drink regular milk. I drink almond milk. And um, I'm saving these to make um, a planters out of. I'm going to cut the fronts off of these um, right in here and then plant plants in them and then hang them out up on my porch. Uh, my husband made this like covering out of metal and I wanted to put um, wood slats going across holding them um, the slats holding these jugs by the handles and have plants out there but I want to I'm going to peel all the stickers off of them I've already cleaned them out on the inside I'm just saving them and then I made this wall decor I'm not finished with it I still have to make the other side but I made this this is all Dollar Tree stuff and all it is is it's poster board that I painted to look like wood, like aged wood. And then I used the um, the fence thing. But all, I'm gonna do another video explaining this, but I just wanted to show you this. I absolutely love this, but I need to finish up um, the little thing. I, I'm one of those people that starts projects and then I'll go kind of, uh, when I'm not able to work on that, I'll work on and I need something. and. I'll work on that, then I'll come back to it, and then go back to, it's like back and forth. I don't know why I'm like that. I mean, I have ADHD, and I think that may be reason, the reason why I'm like that. <clears throat> but I'm still making the mold to my um, sculpt, and still working on that, which that's, the mold for the sculpts is hard. It's more difficult than what people think. But I just wanted to show you this, and then I'll make another video describing how I made it. And you can see my window. My cats get in there and mess up the um, the shades. So I'm going to put curtains up eventually when we get this finished. This living room's not finished. Oh, um, my husband's still got to build the entertainment center in here. But I just wanted to chit-chat about that and show you. And, and then my daughter got some... Um, Oh, uh, what are these things called? They are Crown Royal bottles from somebody. And she wants me to, um, they want her, my daughter, and the lady that gave them to my daughter wants me to make lamps out of them. So I'm going to do a video on that. When I get around to it, I have to go get the parts and everything. And I have to get a drill bit for the um, glass to be able to put the wire through it. And I have to buy the wiring and the little thing for the um, um, 
the light, the fixture, the light fixture. I have to get that, and then I have to um, figure out how to make this, the lampshade. So I have to figure all this out before I make a video on it. But this is just a video to show you a couple things I made and explain a little bit. Th uh, this one, I'm going to, um, I guess I can go, well, I want to make a different video. I don't want to put this all in the same video. But you can see we got some, my grandbaby's uh, little car. But we're still working on it, my living room. That's where the entertainment center is going to be. I'm excited. Can't wait for him to get that finished. But anywho, that is that. And I will be back with this decorated. I'm about to get busy on the log and this. I need to get all the stuff finished because when I get the um, silicone baby made and put together, eventually I'll get there. Slowly but surely. Um, once I get the baby made, I'm going to be posing her in this little bed and take pictures and the logs also. And um, I'm going to be making some backgrounds, which I've already made a couple. And so I will do videos on separate videos on that because this video is already a little bit too long. I hope you enjoy this video and um, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos when I get around to it, because I'm babysitting my grandson a lot lately, um, I will eventually get to making those videos of painting and finishing up those logs. But if you want to see those, please subscribe. Thank you and have a blessed day. Bye.